Hello, I am OP Silver, and I'm going to review episode 3 of Ruby Volume 9. This is the format like usual, so let's get started. The episode starts with Team Ruby on their way to the Red King. Oh, I'm sorry, it's the Red Prince. After a little bit of introduction, the guards give the king the weapon from episode 2, and literally throws it away because it was green. So the weapon gets thrown away and the two guards get f beheaded, Jesus. Then Ruby challenges the prince to a game. But Ruby realizes that there are fewer pieces that she has, and the rest of Team Ruby literally become the pawns. The rules of this game are also explained, but it's not really important because that's really just out of the picture. Team Ruby starts winning and the Red Prince just starts raging like he's in a League of Legends game. And then a cool combo scene is shown. However, I can only share a screenshot because then I'll get copyright striked. The Prince throws the table like he's a Super Bowl fan. The Curious Cat saves Team Ruby and then a chase sequence ensues. And then in the end of the episode, Neo comes in and starts stumbling for some reason. A lot of people are saying that her semblance is evolving, but there's no explanation why, so yeah. So then she beats the shit out of Zaru from the first episode. The Red Prince is actually a pretty good character. He's a brat, and that's the point. His ego makes a huge obstacle in the story. We know this because the piece from Ruby's side of the field literally just passes out when the prince just gives them the signal. Another example of this is when he literally starts throwing a fit and everything else because he wants to win and do nothing but that. The combo scene is also nice. I can't really show it because, well, again, copyright. But it has that jazz theme in the background and I am looking that theme up. The game scene was... eh? Even with the Red Prince explaining the rules, both Ruby and the Prince just kinda did whatever they wanted. Seriously, is Ruby not gonna be stopped after doing three turns in a row? I know the Prince didn't explain that part, but Ruby's mood seems as broken as playing Mystic Mind. Shout out to my bros who, uh, play Yu-Gi-Oh a lot. Anyway, if they were a little bit more specific with the rules, I would like this scene quite a bit more. The episode, like the previous episode, that being episode 2, also gets an 8 out of 10. The episode was pretty solid, though what kind of ruined it was the ruling system. If they just didn't explain the rules at all, this probably would have been even better to be honest. I am OP Silver and signing off.